What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Professor Anime. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I am here to bring you all my review for Mob Psycho 100 Episode 7. Now, I usually do live reactions for Mob Psycho. That is true. However, uh, due to some technical difficulties that went down in the last live stream when I was trying to do my live reaction for Episode 7, I pretty much had to, you know, stop the stream and, you know, just, I told everyone that I'm going to be doing a review, so, uh, here's the review. So in this week's episode of Mob Psycho 100, we get to see that Ritsu is going through more character development again, and that is always good because I love when my characters get character development, and Ritsu is a very interesting character. I am really interested in, you know, a little bit more than Ritsu than Mob at the moment. I mean, Mob's a badass, but... You know, when it comes to Ritsu, Ritsu is gaining a little bit more character development than Mob is, and that is probably because of the fact that Ritsu actually, you know, f you know, feels certain emotions. I mean, Mob does too, but it's very minimal. But anyway, I digress. When it comes to the beginning of this episode, we see that Dimple is back yet again. That is right, the green blob is back again. Now, when it comes to Dimple, I knew that Dimple wasn't going to just disappear and be erased from the anime series like that. You know, I knew for a fact he was going to appear yet again. I mean, he is technically the familiar of the anime series Mob Psycho 100. But due to the conclusion that we got in last week's episode, I knew exactly how this episode was going to play out. We have Dimple pretty much trying to possess Ritsu's body, which which does happen in this episode. Dimple does possess Ritsu's body, however, Dimple can't control it. And that is what threw me off, because I thought Dimple would actually be able to control it. But the reason why he can't control it is because Dimple has now reverted to a weakened state in his spiritual form. And his spiritual power is so low because he is in this form and he can't really, you know, get back to his original form. So, you know, he can't control Ritsu's body at all. But Ritsu can necessarily control Dimple's powers to a certain extent as long as Dimple is residing within Ritsu's body. Now, it's been foreshadowed that Ritsu has some form of latent spiritual energy residing within his body, but he's never been able to tap into it until Dimple, you know, with the extra help of Dimple's spiritual energy, once Dimple resides within Ritsu's body, he is able to pretty much all out use his spiritual power but the thing is is that ritsu is using it for the wrong reasons i mean we see that you know he is beating people up you know he thinks he's all that he simply just wants to compete with people just to prove that he is strong and i guess what you can technically say about ritsu's character is that he's the type of person that wants to be acknowledged by others he wants to show off as much as he can to others so that way he will be acknowledged acknowledged by them and he wants to become you know this and this is why he wants to become the strongest person residing in the city because he simply wants to be acknowledged because he was never acknowledged like his brother mob for you know his spiritual powers because he simply had none while mob on the other hand he everybody loved mob because you know, as a kid, Mob was doing these crazy things using his psychic powers, and all the kids, you know, flocked to him. They loved what Mob was doing. They thought it was so cool and awesome, while Ritsu, on the other hand, he has just been normal, necessarily, his whole life. He's had a little bit of spiritual energy residing in him, but he's never been able to let it all out, and therefore, necessarily, he, he's just a normal individual. But now, the fact that he has spiritual power... He thinks he's tough shit. But yeah, this episode definitely had a lot of character development with Ritsu, but this was mainly a build-up episode, not only for Ritsu, but for also Mob as well, and for everybody who is, you know, going to be in the center of Ritsu and Mob's conflict from what it seems like. I mean, just more stuff seems to be building up, as in the beginning of this episode, we technically have all of these middle schoolers 
trying to track down this so-called name of White Tea Poison, and I guess White Tea Poison is actually supposed to be mob, however, what we see in this episode is that all of the middle school uh, leader gang members are actually looking, uh, they, they are looking for White Tea Poison, but they end up coming across Ritsu, so actually they're getting the wrong, you know, guy, <laughs> necessarily, because I guess the so-called White Tea Poison is actually mob however they are coming across ritsu and ritsu just completely wipes the floor with them <laughs> you know um but uh at the conclusion of this episode we see that mob ends up finding out about uh ritsu uh, i don't know necessarily if he saw any of the spiritual energy that ritsu was using upon those you know gang groups or whatnot but for sure mob sees that ritsu is causing trouble nonetheless as you know pretty much all of the gang leaders the gang members and whatnot are pretty much on the floor in pain so there is that oh but can we just acknowledge teruki's new hairstyle i mean 150% dude I, I I love it I love it that you, you should keep it dude I full-on agree with your new hairstyle 150% there was also a little side scene in which we see mob going into this antique shop he ends up breaking uh, part of the vase but uh, these con artists so to speak actually Bro broke the vase uh, completely and apparently this vase was known as the vase of happiness and apparently it unleashed an aura a, a really bad aura into which the con artists were freaking out about uh the you know i guess the spiritual energy that they could feel and i wonder if this vase of happiness is actually going to unleash another spirit maybe just kind of like Dimple maybe, but maybe even more powerful, I don't know, but it does seem like there is also some conflict that will be brought about in next week's episode regarding, you know, the vase of happiness, like what exactly was residing in that vase. But yeah guys, I think that about does it for this episode. Let me know in the comments down below on what you guys thought about this episode of Mob Psycho 100. Sorry I couldn't do a live reaction for this episode, but hopefully I can do one next week for all of you. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed this review nonetheless, so definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments down below on what you thought about this episode, what are your predictions for next week's episode, and of course, if you like this video, don't forget to drop a like, it always helps out the channel, and if you want to stay up to date to my future content on this this channel please hit that red subscribe button below and you will never miss a video from me that about does it for this video guys i love you all thanks for watching and i'll catch you all in the next one peace guys